Hey guys, Casey and Jax here. Um, I'm really excited to share this particular video with you guys because this is something that we really love to do every year. We, yeah, we wanted to share with you guys our decorating. You can see the tree already finished behind us. And so we're just gonna share our journey with decorating the house. Um, this is our first year here and in this home and we really wanted to go all out. Um, we're spending it here in San Diego. We're not traveling anywhere, which is unusual for us. So yeah, we decided to go full blown winter wonderland. Christmas exploded. Christmas explosion. Um, this is a really, <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, I should've had that Yeah, you should've Where are my props? Um, this is something I, I grew up doing with my mother and I picked up most of my uh, interior decorating skills from her. She actually did um, interior decorating and um, so I feel closer to her whenever I do this and I have loved that Jax is so into it and loves doing it with me. So it's something special that we share and like doing together, huh? It is, it's really fun, so. All right, so stay tuned. We're gonna start showing you around the house um, and come with us. Welcome in. Here's the happiness. All right, so <laughs> welcome in. So this is uh, our, uh, what is this called? <laughs> All right, so welcome in. And so here is our um, awesome, awesome garland. It took us a little while to do this one. Yes. Yeah, the, the method for putting it up is we actually twirled the garland around the banister all the way up. So it's actually spun around it. Um, and then at the top, you can kind of see, we actually decided to do the hanging loop balls or loops or however you say it. And um, Jax put the whole ribbon in first and then we kind of had to keep stepping back. And like he said, there would be spots that were off and we had to kind of tinker with and change around, but he's really good at the ribbon. Like it, I said, I yeah. hate it. it. It is better if you have two people doing it yeah. or, or even three, just because a lot of times you'll, you'll need like someone that's, you know, I was the spotter, I, I would have to stand it. down here on the main floor to tell him from this yeah. view what looks good. So you kind of have to have someone spotting and yeah. letting you know which parts are weird. Thankfully we have really good friends that come and help us all the time. <laughs> like like Josh was behind camera right now. <laughs> <laughs> Helping. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so yeah, you can get an extra pair of hands, it'll, it'll save you a lot of time. Um, it'll be good. Yeah, the, the inserts, the bows, and the ribbon are from Hobby Lobby. That's yes. where we found the sparkly stuff that we wanted to look. And the garland and lights are from Lowe's. Yes. There's the finish. Enjoy. All right, so this is our entryway. And this year we decided we wanted to um, use the traditional type stockings that uh, we already had. We bought these at Home Goods, I believe, TJ Maxx Home Goods. And we combined that with these antler candle holders and I took one nine foot long garland that I bought at Lowe's and um, put it together and wrapped it around each of these candle holders. Um, the garland, I like to just buy the plain garland with no lights because I like to string the lights myself. And then with the lights, you just wrap them back and forth through the garland after that you've already fluffed them. Um, when you get the garland, if you don't fluff it, there's 
you know, super flat and they don't look good. So I always have to adjust it and pull out all the garment like this. That way it's more spruced up and it looks really full. Um, I decided I wanted the, the Christmas balls to kind of match what we did with the tree and we'll see that in just a minute. So I took the same ball ornaments that I used for the tree garland and for this one, I didn't want to do the garland and wrap it because I don't have as much space here. So I just individually place these and some of them I hook to the branches, but most of them are just placed um, since this isn't a spot that is gonna really be bumped or moved. And I think it turned out really cool. Um, I decided to kind of pile them over here by the candles and then I just sparsely placed them kind of in this middle section because I didn't want to take it away too much from uh, the family photos that we have here. Um, but yeah, this is the entryway. So we have a really simple kitchen setup. Um, this is how we have it when we host our friends for a little dinner and we're planning on um, hosting our best friends tomorrow to have our first Christmas dinner here at the house. Um, so I have it all set up as if they're gonna come tonight, but they're actually coming tomorrow. So this is a simple setup that I would typically do with our friends. Um, if that's something you guys are interested in having me share with you sometimes of the different ways I set the table or the little things I'll do if we're having a little dinner with somebody, let me know in the comments below if that's something that interests you and um, I can share that at a later time. We kept the kitchen simple because as you guys have seen, Jax really uses our space and we can't really have too much getting in the way. He uses the counter, he uses every last space in here when he's cooking. So the only thing that we've done this year is we have the poinsettia here. When he's cooking, it usually comes right here on the counter. The only other thing is Jax did insist that we have Christmas colored towels put into the kitchen. Um, he loves to buy towels for every holiday. So if it's Halloween, likely to see Halloween. If it's Thanksgiving, likely to see turkeys or something. And for Christmas, we have red and white this year. But that's the kitchen. This is our bar area. And we always have the decanters out here. I decided this year I wanted to use um, these little wine bottle covers on them. I feel like it kind of looks like three little kids in the snow or something. Uh, super cute. They were given to us by a friend two years in a row and now we're using them here. Um, yeah, but I think they're handmade, hand -knit knitted. I think we can find some ideas for you and put them in the links below. So check those out. I'll, I'll put links in for everything I have and hopefully, you know, if any of you guys are wanting to use these ideas and want ideas on where to find them. I'll put where I know I found all my stuff and how I did it. So check those links out below. I decided I wanted to do the Christmas ball garland here because it ties well into the living room. And I felt like it would bring the living room and the Christmas tree into the kitchen area and the bar area. Oh, there's the bar. Jack's hung our stockings. <laughs> and then, oh, this is my ball. This is mine. Oh my. I'm not allowed to shoot. This is supposed to be serious today, but I don't want to be serious today. <laughs> he loves his uh, dress up pieces. <laughs> he wore them for his Christmas cookies. Okay guys, so these reindeer are probably my favorite piece in the entire house. Um, both of them, they're from Z Gallery. If you're looking to find them, that's where I got them. I've had them for, I think two years now. 
and by far my favorite piece in the whole house. Um, I was terrified when we moved from Utah to San Diego that they were gonna get broken in the move. So I had these bubble wrapped and put in styrofoam and I made sure that these ones didn't have the antlers or anything broken. I love that they're the white color and they're sparkly and I like the look of them. I don't feel like they're too cartoony or anything. Um, and it's very much my style. The lighting that I did around the deer this year, um, this is from Costco and I actually did three strands. They, they usually come in long strands and um, it's white lights mixed in with kind of these beads and wiring that make it look more icicle-y, I think. It looks kind of icy and snowy. So I really like the look with the deer. I feel like it matches. Um, but I just took the wire and kind of shaped it around the deer. I wanted it to flow and I feel like it really fits this space well. I like that it's right here in the window. So the lights are by the window and it's actually right across from the couch. And it's a fun little thing that complements the rest of the room. And it's very much a little winter wonderland. So my favorite. I'm now working on the Christmas ball garland for the tree that we have this year. Um, this year I wanted to go with more traditional Christmas colors. So I'm sticking with the red and gold balls. And I've started on this piece. And how this works is you take one of the Christmas balls and um, they have this notch in them where usually you put a hook and instead you take the string and you double tie it onto it and that's the start of it. And then as I'm going, I'm just adding each of these balls um, to the string and I just make sure that they get pulled down all the way. And slowly it's creating um, this whole chain of garland that I am working on with the tree. Um, I'll have to show you in a minute. I've been working on the tree already with some of our friends and most of it's done. This is just the last top piece because I ran out of um, the ornamental Christmas balls. So I haven't been able to finish, but I'm really excited to show you guys the finished product. So far, I'm really loving how it looks on the tree. Um, it's beautiful. So hopefully you guys like it and I'll show you when it's all done. All right, here's the best part. The tree. Vanna White over here. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so, this is my dream tree and it's the first year that we have had a tree this size. <laughs> size me. Um, yeah, we got this tree at Hobby Lobby and- On sale. It was on sale, but I feel like everything at Hobby Lobby is on sale. Oh, yes, that's <laughs> So we got a 12 foot tree this year because we moved into this place this year. We actually have the ceiling height for it. And I've been so excited to do this because the tree I grew up with um, that my mom would do every year was a 12 foot tree. And this is my first time decorating a tree this size. But usually uh, Jax and I have always done um, a ribbon all the way around and I've always liked that look. This year I wanted to do something completely different. Um, so we talked about it and I had seen a tree in Salt Lake City in their historic Joseph Smith building and they had done a lot of this Christmas ball garland throughout the tree. And so I took that inspiration and I applied it to our tree this year. Um, so I already showed you guys how I made the garland itself. I didn't actually do the garland all the way around because the amount of garland and string that we would have had to do would have been way more than what is already on the tree. And so we just measured probably two thirds of the tree. Um, all the part that you would see in the back doesn't 
have it connecting. And we've strung it along. I wanted it to not be too far on the outside because I felt like it looked too much like a cone. So we tucked in spots like this and kind of tucked it into the tree. And then much like um, the other garland around the house, we took uh, other Christmas balls and we filled in any spots that were left empty or open. And then as you can see, we took a lot of extra um, pieces, berries and this gold uh, ball stuff and little ornaments and we placed some within and it made it a lot fuller and visually I think made the tree a lot more interesting to look at. Um, most of the inserts, the berries and the little ornament uh, pods and um, clusters, they all come from Hobby Lobby. You have to go pretty early in the season though because they get cleaned out. Like November. Like November. Like before the But we were, we were actually able to find, what, two days ago, early December, we were able to find all these pieces, which I absolutely love. First time I've ever had them on the tree. I feel like it really added a lot more to the garland. Is that what it's I know, right? So as you can see, it's stuff like this. So we can have nice things. And we place them in the tree like this. And that's how it's added to the garland. Uh, the trickiest part by far was the top. Um, we weren't really sure how to do it at first. And Jax had to make sure I didn't fall off the top of the ladder while it was being placed. And the top. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for tuning in and watching and checking out our little winter wonderland here. <laughs> um, we'll post all the links below of um, all the things we've used that you've seen and we've explained and you know if you try any of, out, uh, any of them out let us know if you have any questions let us know comment below um, like. <laughs> like and subscribe and we'll be posting more um, of our winter adventures and holiday adventures for you guys thanks Bye. for tuning in Bye.